Hi everyone, it's Christina Martini and Presley Rose here at Shama Santosha Yoga. And today is about yoga for kids. That kids are so special that we should invest time to teach them how to begin the practice of yoga. yoga. So today Presley is going to demonstrate how joyful and happy and fun and good for you, right, is yoga. So she's going to go ahead and show us the sun salutation A and the sun salutation B and then she's going to take us to a seated pose so that if you children that are watching this wants to begin a practice of yoga, you could start as simple as the sun salutation A, B and then lotus. All right, she's going to challenge you at the end because later on she's going to ask you to lift up your bums off the floor and fly off the floor, <laughs> just like that. So, shall we begin standing at the top of the mat? How about you speak clearly and guide them so that they can hear you? So, so mm -hmm. first thing I'm do, um, bringing your hands to heart center. Bringing your hands to heart center at the top of your mat. Good. Feet together. Good. And then bring in your own. And you're going to begin own. breathing, right? So go ahead and look at your stomach, right? And you want to tell them to stay still, right? You want to stay still and you want to look at your bundles. That means stomach. Bundles is stomach strength. And then now after five, make sure you count out loud so they can hear you. One. One. Two. Two. Tell them to breathe. Three. Three. Inhale, exhale. Good. Four. Four. Five. Now look forward and then we're gonna look forward. Walk or jump. Good. And then bringing your hands all the way. We're gonna fold it dark. Good. Face into our knees and we're gonna fall our hands up to look at the sky and the sunshine. Good. And then stand straight. One more then time. Stand straight. Good. Tell them let's do it again. Hmm. We're gonna do it again. Dog. That's correct. And then we're going to do downward dog for wow. five counts. We have an upward dog and a down dog. It's so true. Go ahead and count it out so they can hear you. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Breathing. Six. Wow. She's tough. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo and then we're gonna walk or jump up. Good. We're gonna fold our face into our knees. Good. And then we're gonna fold our hands up and look at the sunshine. Good. And then we're gonna stand straight at our at the top of our mat. Now we're gonna start sun salutation B. Wow, this is a chart harder one, right? So tell them, don't give up, right? Don't give up for this one. Okay. So this one. Bending your knees, right? Bending your knees and like hands chair. up and looking up at your hands, like sitting on a chair with yeah. your hands up. Beautiful. Then you fold down, head up, walk or jump through. Nice. Um, 
Inhale again. Up dog. Chaturanga. Yes, Chaturanga is correct. Up dog. Good. Down dog. Good, and then? But this time, you're going to put your foot up. Get the other one long way and go from one foot. 90 degrees. Yeah. 90 degrees. Keep your knees strong. Keep your knees bent. Mm -hmm. Bent. Then you're just going to look up. Nice. And then, what's the big word when you move your feet back? Chaturanga. I just said that. Yeah. Chaturanga. So you're going to pull back your foot, do a big push up. Woo hoo! And then do upper dog. That's it. And downward dog. Correct. But this time you're going to do the other side up 90 degrees. Yes. And the other side. Yeah. Um, Straight. Yes, 90 degrees straight. Woohoo! I love it. <laughs> and then again, this big, big word and this big muscles working at a push up. Chaturanga push up. Chaturanga push up. That's it. And then. And then do upper dog. Yes. And then go to downward dog. How many breaths do we hold here to make the mind quiet? Five. Good. Let's count it out for the boys and girls that are joining us. We want to breathe, inhale, exhale. Good. One. One. Two. Good. Three. Yes. Four. Mm -hmm. Five. Sweet. Six. She is a tough teacher. Seven. Yoga master. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. Awesome. And then we're going to... Yeah. Walk or jump through. Mm hmm And we're going to put our face into our knees again. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put our hands up. And, and sit like a beautiful. Chair. Woohoo. And then? And then samastitihi. Samastitihi in Sanskrit means to stand in attention and remain steady. Wow, she's learning all these languages too. And what are we doing next, teacher? Awesome. Forward fold. Mm -hmm. So forward fold and then we're going to put our head into our knees, look up, and then we're going to jump back. We are going to jump back. Yes. And then? Upward dog, Chaturanga. Yes. Downward dog. And then we're going to come into warrior. And then right? this is warrior A. Warrior A is correct indeed. So, what do we want to do with our knees to tell the boys and girls how to build their want muscles? To keep it bent so it's parallel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're gonna put our hands up. Good. And then we're gonna fold down. Awesome. Yeah. Take a big chaturanga. Good. And then downward dog. Good. The other side up. Awesome. Put your foot long ways. Mm -hmm, love it. Knees bent. Nicely done. And then we're going to come down, do a big push up. So proud of you. And That's such a good muscle. And we're going to do upward dog. And then now we're going to go to downward dog and stay in downward dog. Good. And we're going to breathe inhale, exhale once again. And how about if they can't draw their heels down? It's okay for them to bend their knees, right? It's okay for you to bend your knees like this. And if they're shaking, it's okay too, because you used to shake and fall, right? Yeah, you can shake and yeah. it's okay if you fall over. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and then we're going to come back to the center, right? And then you just jump back, Woo -hoo. jump or walk through to your center. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hold our head down onto yeah. our knees. And then we're going to grab our hands, follow our hands up to the sky. With the chair pose, right? And wait, with the chair pose, I mean. And then we're going to yes. do some ashti to the Good. And, and then, then I think from there, we should show them the back bend. Back bend. And then we'll go to headstand and then we'll close out, right? Okay. I think kids love the back bends. Yeah? 
So show them the right way. You get on your bottoms, right? <laughs> that was funny. I could tell. <laughs> so, so we're going to put our feet right here. Yeah. And we're going to fold in. And we're going to grab our ankle. Yes, ma'am. And if you can't, you can grab the outside of your mat. Good. Or you can even interlace your hands or underneath you can your... interlace your hands underneath your back. Good. And then... What are you going to choose to do today? I'm going to You're going to grab your ankle. All right, and now tell them what's next. Big, strong grab, and then we're going to bend up with our back and our wow. butt. Wow. What is this posture good for? We're going to keep our head down. Good. On your chin, looking at your heart. Good. And then relaxing. Breathing, relaxing. And now... If you want to take a challenge, what do you think we want them to do? <laughs> I challenge you. <laughs> you want to give it a try? So this one, you're going to put our hands behind. Mm -hmm. You might want a grown-up to help you. You might want a grown-up to help you. Do you need me as a grown-up to help you? Mm -hmm. You think you got this? Oh, I think, look at that. What is this called? The, or the big wheel, right? Yeah. So or tell them to stay on their head if they're not so quite ready, stay right? Stay on your head if you can't go, yeah. but if you can, you go big boobs. Big boobs. Go down. Superpowers. <laughs> and then the rule is after every back bend, we sit up and. Then you might want to back up a little bit. We can do um, we can do that after this one. Yeah, he wants to show the shoulder stance. What is this called so they can hear you clearly? Forward fold. Forward fold. That's so good. And, and then if you can't grab your feet, then you can grab your ankle or your thigh. Good. You bend down and try. Good. Take your nose to your knees. Awesome. And then now, if you want to lay down. And if you want to lay down. You can do the next pose. And we do this. If you can't go all the way up, then you just be happy with this. And, and what is this called? I chose to be pointed and it's and this is called the shoulder stand. What do you think it's good for? The shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, good for what else? Thinking for school. Oh, and also, wait. If you can, you can grab your back, lift up. Ooh, look at that. Wow, I think you can make your legs straighter. Come on back this way. And then you want to tell them not to move their neck here, right? Yeah, you also don't want to move your neck in right. this one either. And then you don't want them to slam on their back coming down, so tell them to bend their knees and come down softly. You just don't want to slam like that, so you want right. to bend, bend your knees. knees and go down. Here. That's it. Well, for the last part of the treat, okay. How about some headstands, huh? And then we'll go into this is headstands. So here's falling out of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I guess you need me to spot you, or do you want to try using the wall to show I them? Need the wall. Okay, I'm gonna step away, and she's gonna move her mat more to the wall. And you want to tell them if they're gonna try this, they should have a grown up next to them. Yeah, a grown up. And a pillow or a mat to put their head I'm down, the never on the floor, right? You have Yes. Yeah. Right yeah. Put your pillows over here if you want to be active. Yeah. Passive. And or then you can just put the pillow, or you can just have that. Yeah. So go ahead and get ready. Take up though. Yes. I'm gonna help you. So tell them what you're doing. You're gonna first just. So we're gonna wait. So we're gonna tap our hands together, interlace our hands. Yeah. And then we're gonna put it right here, or wherever you're doing it. And then you're gonna put your head inside the interlace. Then you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna not move your elbows. So you're gonna go into downward dog. Then you're gonna walk into downward dog. Put your first foot up. And then you find the wall. Find the wall. And now what do we do? Relax, we breathe, and we hold steady. We don't move, we smile. And we check in, say, I'm okay. I'm okay. I and whenever you're ready, you can just put your foot down and then come down. But what is the next one? That you gotta do child's pose. 
Wow, the most famous practice of child's pose. Perfect for a child. <laughs> Ooh, that was funny, right? Yeah. And then we go into our seated, right? Our lotus. And let's move our mat closer so that they can see us. So, about there is good. All right, shall we do this, teacher? So, so I'll follow can, you. If you can, you can grab your leg. You can either just do this, or okay. you can just put one leg. Okay, or crisscross applesauce, like this. Or crisscross applesauce, like, like this. That. Yeah. Or you can grab your first leg, you can put it over, and then you can grab your other leg, and push it over. What first leg did you grab? Was it right or left? I don't think it matters. It does, it's the it right does. side, yeah. The right side should go up first. So that's important. So, so the right and then the left. Correct. That's the right way. And then what should we do now? And now we should eat. Do some breathing. Do some breathing. And closing our, our eyes. Our hands over here. Closing our eyes. Breathing. Go ahead and lead us to count. One. And then mind and inhale, exhale. Two. Wait. Three. Four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, what's we're, the magic here? So now we're gonna put our hands on this side. We're gonna have our hands open okay. wide on the side of our. Body, legs, legs and body. yeah. And then whenever you're ready, you can just lift up. Count it. One, One two, three, four, five. Woohoo! <laughs> I almost went on to six. You almost went on to six? Wow. Oh. And then, should they remain here or should they un? Leash the lotus and go into Shavasana. We can unleash your lotus. Okay, and then and you have a um, towel. Mm -hmm. Then you can lay down and put it over your eyes. I'll be right back. I need to go get one. Okay, good job. She said she'll be right back. She's going to go get one. So if you're interested in learning yoga for kids, we have an amazing inspirer for you, Presley Rose. And here with Christina Marti at Shala Santosha Ashtanga Yoga Therapy and Wellness in Maui, Hawaii. From so us to you, you can get a towel. You can either fold it or you can just grab it like that. And then you can lay down and you're just going to rest it over your eyes, hands out. And feet apart. And feet apart and just rest. Mm. Close your eyes. Stay down for as long as you want. Or you can begin to stretch your hands over your head. Or you can start wiggling your fingers, stretch your hands over your head, wiggling your toes, wiggling your body. Mm -hmm. Shake the sippies out. <laughs> and then you want to get your legs, bring them up. You want to give your legs, your knees a big hug. Huh. And say, I and love you. And then you're going to roll over, <laughs> roll over to one side, and if you can, roll over to the other side. I'm going to roll back to the middle. Good. Rest it off, and you can take this off, and then you can come up. And then we'll join together in our final Om and Namaste, yeah? So, all right, you guide the way for us. If you'd like to chant it, you can. If not, so, mm -hmm. um, I can't both You can. And do it loud and clear, right? So we're going to put our hands on heart. Heart center, yes. Swasti. Swasti Praja Vyaha Sari Panyam Jong Tong Mayana Mayana Mai Mahishaha Gopur Punyaha Sukhinastin Tiam Bokaha Samastaha 
Tell them have a great day and have fun with it. Let us know. Make your comments. Send it have to us. Have a great day. <laughs> you can't see your face there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.